You see, it's actually another big brain, uh, big brain prediction by me. They're gonna terrestrialize here, but then I'm... Oh my god. You see, like, the game is too simple for me. That's my problem. This game is simply just too easy for me. Like, a, a mind like mine is... Like, Pokemon is just... This is the problem, dude. Pokemon just gets boring when you're so good at the game, honestly. Really starting to regret losing that much out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, Porygon is weak, bro. I'm fine. I'm fine. Porygon is so weak. No way try that KOs. Then... Sucks for them. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, it's huge. Huge. And they forfeit. Bro, this is it. This is... This is the best set known to man. This is the new meta. Alright, so with the release of the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC, a lot of Pokemon got new moves, and one of such Pokemon is Glimmit. Now, as you can see, this thing gets Meteor Beam, which is pretty broken because 1. It has one of the highest special attack stats in the tier, and 2. It gets raised even more, and 3. Uh, it's actually 3 reasons, not 2. And three, this thing has 120 base power. So basically, it's kind of broken. And I'm going to be using this with rock polish. So basically, the, the, the plan is like you get the nuke off with uh, meteor beam. And then you can like maybe set up with rock polish and then like sweep the team. Because you have like a special attack and attack. I mean, uh, special attack and speed boost. You know, like uh, stuff like that. And then basically, the rest of the team is just a hyper offensive team. With like a uh, Stealth Rock, Lead, Memento, Diglett, and then like Litten, which is basically just Will-O-Wisp. Alright, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Now, my opponent... Hmm, what do they lead? If I were them, I would lead with Glimit. Oh, they lead with Gullet, that's fine. I mean, they are, uh, they are gonna do that. Which again is good, since I can just go Impidimp. Just get a reflect off and then basically just oh cool. They go into Ponyard, which is good because I can do hmm body drum question mark. And then uh well I mean they definitely terra here. But terra into what? What do they terrestrialize into? That's the question. What do they terrestrialize into? Oh, they just go into Ghastly. Hmm. Now, are they Scarf or... Oh, they're not Scarf. So, they just go into Gullet. Um, hmm. So... I guess they just use Earthquake or something? I don't know. I mean, I can just go into, like, Shelter here. And then... Dude, honestly, the only thing that can, like, switch into the Icicle Spear is Ponyard. Which is amazing, since then I'll get some damage on Ponyard, and then the rest of their team loses to... Okay, they sacrifice Nubble. So basically, the plan is, they're gonna go into Ponyard here, because that's the only thing that can switch into Icicle Spear. And then, Glimit can sweep late game. Yeah, it's big brain. It's, it's big brain. Now, do they use Sucker Punch? No, they don't. Alright, well now it's time to just go into Impidimp and then just get a Reflect up, I guess. Hmm, maybe I should have thought this uh, through a bit more. Okay, maybe I should have thought that through like a slight bit more, but it's fine. Yes, I know they do get the attack boost here, but it's fine since I get to use Will-O-Wisp. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. They predicted that I'd attack them. No, use Will-O-Wisp and boom. All right, now they go into their own Glimit probably. Oh, they go into Gullet. Hmm. Hmm. I guess I can just go into Shelter, sack that, get an Intimidate off with Litten, and then, um, okay, okay, now the question is, do I switch and then get another Intimidate off? Like, do I switch into Diglett here, get another Intimidate off, and then go into Glimit to Terrestrialize, or do I not? That is indeed the question. Now, the question is, do I think that they're going to switch? Which is probably not. No, no, no. 
and plus all right so let's say i do keep the diglet what is it useful for like what i guess it could be useful for glimit but nah nah they go into their own glimit all right cool you see this you see these predictions that was, i actually predicted fun fact i actually predicted that they go into glimit there now i'm gonna make another epic prediction and say they're gonna terrestrialize which means i'm gonna use memento you see it's actually another big brain uh, big brain prediction by me they're gonna terrestrialize here but then i'm oh my god you see like the game is too simple for me that's my problem this game is simply just too easy for me like a, a mind like mine is like pokemon is just this is a problem dude pokemon just gets boring when you're so good at the game honestly you know i'm talking all this smack but i might still lose well, okay so i know that there's scarf porygon because i faced this person earlier on dude this is yeah all right well no 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 thing is i have the special attack boost i'm terra fairy and then like both of these pokemon are scar oh wait no wait no no they might have changed their porygon to not be scarf uh oh wait maybe i messed up wait maybe i messed up maybe maybe their porygon isn't scarf and this doesn't one shot because then they'd have like two choice scarf pokemon like they'd have choice scarf gullet and have choice scarf porygon which is like would you have that on the same team Oh, I'm really starting to regret losing Mudshot, huh? Really starting to regret losing that Mudshot. Uh-oh. 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 Why couldn't I have just dodged that Mudshot earlier on, dude? Why couldn't I have just dodged that earlier Mudshot, dude? That would have made this so much more simple. Alright, now the question is, do I live their tri-attack? Now, it's good to remember, Glimit is really bulky. Alright, Glimit is, in fact, one of the bulkiest mons I know. Especially, at least... And Porygon doesn't have a special def uh, special attack boost. You see, my special defense is higher, so they got an attack boost. So actually, I'm good, right? Like, yeah, Porygon is weak, bro. I'm fine. I'm fine. Porygon is so weak. No way, try attack KOs. Then, <sighs> you know what? Because I'm so mad about this, I'm just gonna take the time to. To, to calc that let's say let's say worst case scenario absolute worst case scenario all right oh yeah all right so let's say worst case scenario they are max attack modest max attack modest and it mattered well, no, no, no. To be fair, they could have gotten a max roll, too. They could have gotten a max roll, too, guys. No, look, look, look. They could have gotten a max roll, too, guys. Hold on. Let me just go into my history. Uh, wait. Uh, remember to cut this out. Remember to cut this out. Uh-oh. Uh, boom. All right. So, let's go here. Let's see. So, max attack. The This is a max roll. Remember? Remember? So, worst case scenario, if they're modest... Max attack modest, which no one is. Let's be honest. This is this is unrealistic, right? No one runs max attack modest. Everyone runs 18, so you can get that extra bulk. So let's say they are they aren't max attack modest because no one runs that garbage set. Then that mattered. Point in case I would have won that, and Glimit would have won that, but I got robbed last second. You know, I've been playing a lot today. You know, just testing teams, and I've gotten really unlucky. Like I'm saying, like. I I literally would have I have I've had situations where I was in with Magby the like the opponent had Choice Scarf Porygon locked into Ice Beam and then they froze me and then boom I lost the game purely because of that freeze I was already down like a couple of Pokemon I would have won if I got that dang Belly Drum off but no it didn't happen so anyway they're going to Squirtle doesn't even matter oh wow how creative dude how creative of you truly. How creative of you. You're so good at this game, dude. You're so good at this game. I'm so mad, dude. That that crit was so abhorrent, dude. That crit was abhorrent. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, now I'm getting the hacks. Cool. Okay, I guess I just go into shelter and then use, like, Rock Blast. Going from getting hacks to hacksing, I guess. I mean, well, to be fair, I can't really come... You can't really compare, like, a Hydro Pump miss to, like, a crit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't really compare those two. You know, like, 
Like a hydro pump missile happens one in five. Like I don't know the exact. You know what? Um, I was gonna say let's stop be being salty about that uh that crit, but um, yeah. And now I'm just confused. Did they? Huh? Was that a misclick? No, like genuinely, was that a misclick? Hmm. Now Snivy does suck. Uh, I guess I just go into like lit in here. Uh, sucks that I can't go into glimmer to get these T spikes away, but there's not really much I can do. Also, can I just say, take a look at their team now? Like, take a look at their team. Uh oh. Wait, what? There's no way they thought, bro. Well, I guess. Well, to be fair, I guess they thought that like maybe like if I wasn't literally max special defense, that would have KO'd. I mean, yeah, like, if I wasn't literally max special defense, then that pr probably would have KO'd, but, uh, unfortunately for you, I am, so. Alright, Shedskin. Now, this is garbage, because, tell me, tell me, I want you to give me an exact example. Who the heck runs Shedskin Scraggy? I need to know, I need to know. Anyway, like, like, what? Is it... Is it for for Fungus? For Fungus? Bro, Fungus is dead. I don't know if you've seen the ladder. I've played so much today, no one uses Fungus. Oh, that really sucks. Because now I can't actually charge up my... Uh, mm. That really sucks. Well... Hmm. Hmm. Oh, okay, they forfeited. Cool. Cool, cool. Alright. Well, hmm, I don't know why, oh, well, well, no, actually, it was kind of over, because let's say they did, like, KO, KO my Glimit, then I would've just gone into Magby, gone a free belly drum up, alright, I can see why they, uh, forfeited, anyway, my, my next opponent has no elo, so, this probably isn't gonna be one of the most difficult games, but you know what they say, never judge a person by the size of their elo, I guess, or something like that. Anyway, they terrestrialize turn one, as we all know, the perfect strategy. There's no way that this can ever, ever backfire, right? There's no way that terrestrializing turn one ever backfired on anyone, right? <clears throat> Surely not. Anyway, got both screens up. What do they go into? They go into Mincino. Uh, I just, I just go into this, get a Will-O-Wisp. Do I even need will o -Wisp? Dude, honestly, I can just use Parting Shot into, uh... Oh, cool! This did work out, because they go into- what? Larvesta? This is perfect. This is perfect. I have screens up. They have minus one attack. Now, as much as I'd love to go into Glimit, I, I physically can't, because, like... I physically can't go into Glimit, because, like, otherwise they just go into Toad School and then, like, ruin my day. They use Morning Sun. Uh, dude, I don't, I don't think that even at full health you live in this Fire Punch, bud. I don't know if you're looking at this. This is 68 attack. This is... You're you're not living that one, bud. Um, Alright, now Meowth is kind of annoying, but I do have a little thing called um, screens. So it shouldn't really matter too much, I think. Right? Like... And then what do they do? Hmm. Honestly, I'm just gonna use... Okay, what do they do? They definitely switched, right? They, they guaranteed switch. But into what? Do you think they'd go into Toad School? Do you think they'd sack Toad School? No way, right? No way they'd sack Toad School. I'm literally the worst person on Earth. I'm actually the worst player on Earth. I'm sorry. No! I should've used fire- Well, okay, never mind. Alright. They stayed in. Well, good. Now, even- Even if- hypothet hypo Hypothetically- Well, yeah. Now I just win with Glimit. Like, I just get, like, the freest- uh, Rock polish into- into meteor beam off they already wasted their terror and then oh my god this is looking like a like a like a glimit sweep hold on do i even need a glimit sweep let me just see this is mag b v <clears throat> mag b vs voltorb voltorb uh, special attacker do terra fighting where's fighting here terra fighting plus six boom mock punch there's no way this ko's Unless I get a max roll like my previous opponent. Uh, sorry, I said I, I said I'd stop complaining about that. 
Well, it's not like a terrible chance. Wait, actually, it's actually a really good chance. No, never mind, it is a terrible chance. Whoops. So, Mark Punch, you'd have a 50 50 if I did this. Is it worth wasting my terror? Now, to be fair, to be absolutely fair, Voltorb is really annoying for my team. Like, really annoying. Terror Water specifically really sucks. Plus, I'm not sure what else, what else I Terra. I guess Terra Ghost on Shelter could win, but this isn't a Shelter showcase, so let's just do it. Come on, get a crit or 50-50. <gasps> I called it! I called it! No way I called the crit! Let's go! Dude, I'm so good at this game, I even predicted the crit. I mean, to be fair, I could have gotten a crit or the 50-50 chance to KO. Uh, but anyway, it doesn't even matter. Let's go, that crit. That crit was huge. Alright, nice. So basically, basically what I do is, they go into like their own Glimit or something, or Minchino. I go into my Glimit, and then, I mean my Diglet. I use Memento, and then boom, 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 bada bing, bada boom, they, they lost. Or I can just go into Litten here. Go into Litten, use Parting Shot. If they go into Glimit, okay, cool. Now, thing is, I'm going to use Memento again just to win with with Glimit. Get that epic Glimit win here. Nice. Dude, because of all these attack drops, like, dude, Mudshot is going to do... I was going to say Mudshot is going to do zero damage, but it literally did zero damage here, huh? Sucks for them. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, it's huge. Huge. And they forfeit. Bro, this is it. This is this is the best set known to man. This is the new meta. Uh, you know, this set is so good. I've been using it for a while on ladder. This set is actually so good that I faced someone else that was using this set. Now, let me tell you, I created this. So that means that in the span of like a couple of hours of me creating this set, me using it on ladder and then sweeping a couple of times, someone else said, dang, that is fire. Let me use it myself. And you know what's the surprising part? I lost to it. I lost to this set, right? Like, I created it, and then I was the one that lost to it, too. That's shocking, guys. Let me tell you, leave a like for that one. Leave leave a like. Because I created this set, and then I lost to it later on. That's how good it is. Anyway, I'll see you when I find another game. Alright, I found another game, and, uh... My opponent is using... Surs Kit for some reason. I think bro forgot about the sticky web band, bruh. You want to talk about, like, one of the biggest fall-offs in history? Dude, Surskit. I remember, like, before the Sticky Web ban, this thing was a monster, bro. I used to run this thing on, like, every single team. Used to run it Icy Wind, uh, what was it, like, Surf, Giga Drain, something like that. By the way, Easy Sucker Punch Predict, I'm him. Uh, like, stuff like that. It was actually fire, dude. It was so good, but yeah, Sticky Web was broken. Used to run it with, like, Crab Brawler. Mm -hmm. I miss those days. Dude, recently with the DLC released. Alright. Alright, I found another game and dude, why am I getting all the lowest ladder opponents? What is this, bruh? Rhyhorn? Also, dude, can I just say I'm getting so mad about these quote unquote showcases. I can't even showcase Glimit because my, f my opponents forfeit before I can even use it. Like, I. It's. Or they like forfeit before I get the full sweep off, dude. It's like at least let me also hmm. Um now hold on. Anyway, I was saying like like they always forfeit before I can like sweep. And we just use the terror ghost here. It's fine, it's fine. Getting rid of Grookey is good. And then like it's also good against like Rhyhorn, Meowfu. What does Meowfu do? Oh, I just realized knockoff does kind of this kind of ruined me, huh? Or does this KO? No, it doesn't. Get that crit. Get that crit. Get that crit. High roll. High roll. Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, well, the chance of them staying in here is approximately 0.0. .0 so I'm just gonna get my free stealth rock up. <clears> hmm. <throat> uh, so basically, as I was saying, I got that stealth rock up. So I can go into my limit here and then use Meteor Beam, get that free boost. It was actually all calculated. 
Because now I get that free boost. Boom, boom. And then what do they go into? Yeah, you see, that it actually did make sense. Get butt shotted. Bro, go back to Gen 1, bro. No one likes you anyway. First Pokemon. Yeah, right. You're just a ripoff. Let's go. Now, hear me out. Mudshot doesn't one-shot, so I use Meteor Beam. Surf doesn't KO me, right? Chilling Water. Wait, they're using Chilling Water and it still did that much. Surf absolutely would have KO'd me. Well, it's a good thing that I didn't use Surf. Let's go. Another win for Glimit. Look at this. Look at this. The Mudshot is... Ab oh my god, it's another sweep. It's another sweep called the Ambulance. Dude, Meteor Beam is too good. Oh, they're, they outsped. Never mind. Never mind. I guess I'm just gonna use like taunt here. I don't know why I use taunt. I guess they're just choice scarf, huh? They're absolutely choice scarf. I don't know what I'm doing. Boom! Look at that. Another win. Another win for Meteor Beam Glimit. You know, I I wasn't joking around when I said that this this set was the new meta, right? Like, I really wasn't. This set is genuinely good. Alright, I'm back, and, uh, like, wh what? What is this, bro? Are they using, like, an all-blue team? Like, blue, 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 kinda blue, I guess, if you look weirdly at it. This is blue, and that has, like, kinda bluish stri- I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, you know, there is some bad news. They have Munchlax. I, I literally can't, like, what am I supposed to do with Munchlax, bro? Like, what am I supposed to do against this? Um, I mean, I guess I can just sweep with Shelder, but again, like, it's supposed to be like a Glimit showcase. Well, you know what? It's fine. We can give Shelder one win against this team, right? Like, it's fine. We can- Oh, okay. You're a smart guy, huh? You're- you're such a smart guy, huh? You're such a smart, smart individual, huh? I bet you are. You're so smart, dude. You're so smart. Break my focus, Ash. All right, dude. Let's see how you do against the Shelder, dude. Let's see. Let's see, that was the wrong play. That was absolutely the wrong play. Yeah, alright. GG already. Schmuck. Dude, I hate it when people act like they're so good at this game, bruh. Yeah, what are you gonna do now, schmuck? Oh. Hold on. If they're gonna give me- Wait, actually. I can just do this, can't I? Like, they obviously use Belly Drum, right? I mean, a uh, Body Slam, not Belly Drum. I just use this, Terra Ghost, they use Body Slam, boom, Icicle Spear, one sh- w uh, uh, excuse me? How? 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 How did that do no damage? What? Are they- what? No, literally, can someone explain in the comments how? How does that do- What? Okay, thankfully it does KO. But dude, what? Okay, I guess they just go into Dino and use like Sucker Punch. Wait, does Dino even- No, wait, they just go into Azuril. Um, um, whoa, calm down, calm down, bruh, dude, I'm genuinely shocked about that Munchlax number, that did way too little damage, like, way too little, I would, okay, um, hmm, well, they have, they're intimidated, and they, uh, well, to be fair, is this enough? Dude, what? How? Literally, how? How does that do that much damage? What? It's a burnt and has minus one attack. Dude, what? What? Alright, well, you know what? That, that, could have, uh, that could be considered a choke by me, I guess. Okay, okay, dude. Can you Do you mind? Do you mind? That was just plain rude of you. That was just plain rude. Mm. Well, Clauncher, um... You know, I might have actually thrown this, like, actually 100-0 matchup. And by, and keyword, might have, might have, might have, might, might have, might. It all depends on it. Hey, Fury Swipes! That's cool. That's cool, that's cool. Anyway, what I was trying to say is, it, it literally, all of it just depends on if they are Choice Scarf Clauncher, and considering that they're using Fury Swipes, considering that they're using Fury Swipes, Meowth, I think they are. I, I think they might be a viewer. 
since that's like an infamous thing of mine. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um, come on, don't be scarf. Yes, they aren't scarf. All right, that's good to know. That's good to know. Hmm. All right. So the thing is, what would Dino terrestrialize into? I'm trying to think. So obviously they they Terra, right? This is one of those times. Am I being paranoid or am I just like not? Okay, so obviously they have to Terra, right? They have to. But into what? Into what is the question? If I was a Dino, what would I Terra into? This is the thing. Would like what are you weak to? Berry, fighting. Ice, maybe, maybe you do, maybe you do Terra Dragon for extra damage. Oh, or Terra Dark. All right, good. This is why you don't over predict, ladies and gentlemen. This is why you don't over predict. I nearly used Fire Punch because I thought that they'd like Terra into some weird like Terra flying or something, and then I catch them. No, no, don't, don't, do not over predict like that. You know what, if you have a free win in front of you, and you over predict, and then you just, you just absolutely throw, and then use Mach Punch instead, I mean use Fire Punch, and they ended up being Choice Scarf, and then they just do, use that Hustle Boosted Crunch on you, and you died, you would never live it down. This is why you don't over predict.